Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple JFX for Roblox. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want is Roblox Studio. I will leave the download link to it in the description. So once you are on the homepage, you want to click the base play option and this should load up. Make sure that the toolbox is open. If it's not open, just click home and then click toolbox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is right here where it says models, click it and change it to plugins. Then you want to get the load character plugin. All you have to do to get it is type in load character. And then there's two versions. There's a 25 Robux version and there's a free version. I'm pretty sure e you can get either one, but either way, I have this one. All right, so once you have it, click this little plugins bar right here and then click load character. Then you want to type in your username. I'm mean, gonna be using my avatar for this GFX, but you can use the avatar of, wh of whoever you want. Okay, so if you're using a rig, which I will be using in this tutorial, then I recommend spawning R6. But if you're not using a rig, then I recommend spawning R15. So once your character is spawned, um, you can now choose any models or wigs or whatever you want to use. The first thing I'm going to do though is delete my character's face and hair. So to delete the hair, I just click this. And then to delete the face, I'm going to click head and then click face. You can leave your GFX like this. You can get wigs and stuff. I'm going to add a, I'm going to add a model. So my favorite model creators are Sfinkles, Angel Elves, and I, AbbyXO. And if you want a tutorial on how to like install models and how to use them, then I can totally do that for you guys. I'm going to be using this carrot model by Sfinkles in this tutorial. I will leave this link in the description for you guys. And then I'm also going to be using a wig. I'm not entirely sure which wig I'm going to choose just yet. So if you want, you can also search things in this toolbar. So I'm going to search in wig and then see what comes up. There are so many options to choose from. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this one called Moonlight RS GLD. It's a really nice wig. It's kind of long, but I like that. Okay, so now that we have everything we're going to use in our GFX, I'm going to select all of it. And then right click and click export selection. And I'm going to name this GFX base, but you can name yours whatever you want. And when you're done, click save. So now you're going to open up Blender. I'm using version 2.79, which I will help link. When you first get into Blender, you're going to see like a um, pop-up. Just click anywhere on the screen and then that'll go away. And then you'll see this cube. Press X on your keyboard to click delete. Then go to this file button and click open. If you're using a rig like I am, then this will pop up. Again, I will leave the link to this rig in the description. So if you'll see this folder that says Roblox rig underscore woman. Click that and then click this rig folder. And then click default blend. And double click it and you'll have something that looks like this. What you're going to do first is just delete everything that you see me deleting. So delete this weird eye. If you shift, I'm using shift and F to move. So you press shift and F on your keyboard and then use ASWD um, to move and then Q and E to go up and down. And then I'm using shift to be able to select more than one item at a time. So I'm selecting the head, the eyes, which basically the entire face because you don't really need this for your GFXs. Okay, so once you have it all selected, press X again to delete everything. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna click any part of the body. It doesn't really matter which one. And then up here where you see these three lines, drag them down. Then click this cube right here and click node editor. Then you're going to want to scroll in until you see this section right here that says image texture and select this little file button. Then go to your desktop and find your avatar's name. Then you can select these three lines. Now then go to this globe and click ambient occlusion. Also something I forgot to mention before is make sure that yours is set to cycles render. Okay so now that your avatar has been loaded in, go to file then import and wavefront.obj. Then you go to your desktop and you want to find the obj version of your gfx. Double click it to import. Okay, so as you can see, mine has imported. The first thing I'm going to do is change this from texture to material. Then where it says object, I'm going to click that and then transform and then origin to geometry. Now I know that there's a lot of dots. Basically what this does is when you're rotating objects, it keeps them from like flying all over the place. This is probably one of the most important tools because before I knew how to do this, arms and stuff were flying everywhere and it was the most frustrating thing. So I'm just going to rotate this by clicking this um, button right here, this half circle, and then I can rotate it. You can also rotate by pressing R and then to move everything, you can use this mouse button right here. Okay, so now that we have all this set up, I'm going to select every part of my avatar. If you right click and then shift, you can select everything. I'm going to select everything but her head. So the arms, legs, and torso, and then click X and delete them. We won't need them. So then the next step is to, I'm gonna add the wig onto my avatar. I'm gonna add this wig on. Okay, so now I have the wig on. It's not perfect, but I can change it and fix it in editing. Okay, so now I'm gonna scroll down. Now I'm gonna do a little quick rig tutorial. So scroll all the way down to where it says woman rig. 
and you want to make sure that if it looks like this and you can't see like the rest of it click this plus button and then where it says rig to select the entire rig press this little person button right here and then you can move the entire rig plus your avatar you're just gonna lift this up you know like the floors and stuff is glitching when you actually render it you won't you won't notice anything so i'm gonna have my avatar sit in this chair so i'm gonna drag her all the way over once i have her close to the chair let's say i just want to move like her leg i know this looks really confusing you want to click this uh, button again and now you just have the rig unselected so if i want to move her leg every um every like wire looking thing has a different job in making a gfx or moving your avatar so let's say i want to move her leg i'm going to click this button right here these are all for the feet this is for the like the knee this is for the entire body i believe i or i kind of forget this one right here is for the top part this is for the entire arm this is for the elbow down these are for the hands that so people use these when they make like the heart gfx's and that's basically all you'll need to know so I'm going to move these legs up by right clicking this and then going to this rotate button and rotating them upwards. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so now I'm going to select the entire GFX again by clicking this person button and using this tool right here. I'm going to have her just sit on the chair. Okay, so now this is fine, but I'm going to want to bend down her knees. So again, clicking this person button. I'm going to this time select this lower section and then using the rotate tool I'm just going to drag her legs down and I like rigs a lot better. Um, I started off not using rig. It just make the um, the GFX look a lot smoother instead of having like the chunkiness. Um, it kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It like, blends all the limbs together and makes them look super smooth. And I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. You can be a little more creative with your poses, but this is just something quite basic. And then I want to bend her arms, so I'm going to select the wrist part right here to move this part upwards. I think I'm going to have her hold this carrot paw, which I know is kind of weird, but I like the idea of it. So. I'm going to right click and press shift to be able to select multiple objects. Now that everything is selected, I'm just going to make sure I selected everything right. I'm going to click this tool button up here and then click join. And basically that just merges it to make it one object. And then I'm going to put this on her lap. So this is a nice size pop, but I do want to make it a bit smaller. So if you want to size things down or scale them, press S on your keyboard and then you can make things bigger, make things smaller. <laughs> so I'm going to make this a bit smaller, so I'm going to just drag it downwards. And I like how that looks. I think that's a good size. And I'm just going to make this fit a bit better on her lap and make sure it's in the right position. Okay, so now I'm just going to bend her limbs and kind of mess around with the rest of her body. Okay, so the final step before we can start rendering is adding her wig. Like I said, I'm using this one over here, and I'm just going to select it, and I'm going to drag this onto my avatar. I'm going to use this one right here. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to use that rig right there. And this way I'm able to move her like waist. I'm just going to move this over there. Oops. Okay, so now when I'm ready to render, I'm going to click this camera button right here. And you can set the dimensions to whatever you want. For a square photo, which is what I usually do, I do 10,000 by 10,000. There's so many more dimensions though, and it really just depends on what you want the image to look like. And I set this to 15%. Basically, this just decides how small or how big the boxes are, like the each pixels. And the higher the amount of pixels are, the higher quality the image will come out. But it also take hours longer to render. I set it to 15, which isn't the highest quality, but it honestly comes out fine. And then right here, where it says FFmpeg video, you want to change that to PNG, and then click RGBA, and then scrolling down even further, I'm gonna click transparent. Basically, this is so that if there's like a gray background, it's transparent, so you can put like an image underneath it, like for a background. So what you have to do is click, make sure that you're in object mode. If you're in like any other mode, it won't work. You want to click Shift and A, and then click Camera. Then go to View and go to Camera. Okay, so now I'm just going to angle the camera however I like. I think I like something like that. And then I always recommend clicking this button right here and going to Rendered, just to make sure you like how the final outcome will look. Okay, so I do like how it looks. The wig is a little wonky, but again, that's something I can fix in editing. Um, overall, though, I really like the GFX, so if I'm ready to render, I will click this Render button right here, and then click Render Image. <laughs>
Okay, so as you can see, I just finished rendering. Um, sorry if I'm talking a bit quieter now, but my sister's asleep, so I don't want to wake her up. But once it's all done, you're going to go here where it says image and click save as image. And then I'm just going to name this what I want. So I'm just going to call this one plant base <laughs> and then click save as image. To edit the GFX, I use pixel.com. I will leave this link in the description. Once you go to the Pixel website, you will see this page and make sure you click Pixel X and then it'll bring you to a new tab. You're going to want to click open image right here. Okay, so this is what you'll see. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a background. It's pretty simple, but it does the trick. And I'm going to go to images and then I'm going to find one. I like this one because the lighting's a bit different, so it's not just like plain blue. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to click copy image address and then go back to Pixlr. Click this image icon right here, click URL, and then paste it. And add current, then I'm going to drag this up. Then I'm just going to unlock this layer, and I'm not just going to mess around. And now that I have this done, I'm going to mess around with the lighting, but I'm not going to do, like, talking for that. Follow along if you want, but I personally believe that every creator should find their own personal style, which is why I'm not going to show you mine. Well, I'm going to show you mine, but I'm not going to, like, explain it. So, um, I recommend just messing around with the different tools. I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using these two tools. Um, that's that. come to the end of the video thank you all so so much for watching i love you guys so much if you have any more questions about how to make agfx or about anything in general ask me in the comment section down below i would love to chat with you guys see you all next time bye everybody